Good day everyone and welcome back. It's been quite a while since I last did a YouTube video and figured, hey, might as well treat you guys to and hopefully continue doing a bit more of this and that's doing some replay commentaries. Now we're starting off with some World of Warships here. Um, due to the fact that whilst I was away, hey, I played quite a fair bit of this game, will it, I will admit. And as you can see here, I'm playing the Alsace, the Tier 9 French battleship as I was grinding to the Republic. And holy jeez, what a game this one was. So, already as we can see, we've immediately started off. Unfortunately, we copped a bit of a broadside salvo there from the enemy Alsace, but we've managed to get the three good overpens into that Tashkent there. Now, I will admit, this game is going to go pretty much the full length. Um, so I'll, what might happen is in my, uh, when I do edit this video, I might cut out some of the slower parts, but wait until the very end because this one really comes down to the wire. But anyways, as we can see here, we are on the Land of Fire map, and yes, there are tier 7s in this game, however, quite a fair few nasty tier 9s as we can see, Georgia, Alsace, Jean Bart, Alaska B, all very, very nasty ships that... 380mm is not the greatest at overmatching, but hey, we shall see what manages to happen in this game. So, as we can see, we've spawned on the southern flank here, and we're going to be pushing out towards 9-10 line. Reason being, we want to be getting those kind of crossfires. As we can see, there's an enemy Alsace that is pushing, so we're just waiting here for him to turn a little bit further so we can try and get a nice broadside salvo into him. So far, the friendly Yukon out towards our right-hand side there, he's taking a bit of uh, what looks to be secondary fire, probably from this Alsace, and the Jean Bart is pushing in as well, so this is going to be quite an interesting push to deal with. Alsace starts turning out a little bit on the broadside there, and we get all 12 of our guns. That's right, 12 guns and 3 turrets here, French specialty with the uh, quad turrets there, and yeah, the salvo was alright, it wasn't great by any means, but hey. Damage is damage. Now we've got our friendly shirt, Suyu, who is in the D cap there, and he is about to take that. Keep this guy in mind because he's going to be pivotal at the very end of this game. So keep that in mind. He is he's going to do some fantastic stuff. Anyways, as we can see, we're still uh, we've already popped the speed boost quite a while ago, and we're just trying to work our way out towards the flank here. Targo B here taking that secondary fire from the Alsace again. However, looking at the minimap, we can see this Alsace is going to give us a massive broadside. And oh, it's going to hurt one way or another. Six pens, 20k damage in a single salvo. Yeah, it's quite nasty. Unfortunately, we're not going to be really getting any citadels with these low caliber guns, especially against French Turtleback. But getting full pens is always awesome to have. And I think this Alsace here actually kind of screws up a bit and manages to go ahead and just about ground himself. I screw up a little bit here myself as well and I do give him a bit too much broadside, but we only take 6k damage and we do 7k to him in return and knock out one of his gun turrets. And now this dude is just getting absolutely wrecked here. He's just being pummeled by our Frederick the Grosser, the Yatago shooting him, I think the Yukon shooting him as well. He's going to go down very, very quickly indeed. So far, scores aren't looking too bad. However, the enemy shirt Suyu on the enemy team has managed to sneak in and take the decap off us. <sighs> Sometimes French dispersion does troll us, I will admit. Only a gain two pens and over pen there against the broadside Alsace. Not the greatest, but hey, that's uh, just battleship dispersion for you in a nutshell. One thing I really, really do enjoy about the Assas, though, is the very, very quick reloading guns. 25 seconds, as you can see there, with the current adrenaline rush, makes for a good time. And as we can see, they managed to pick up the kill on the Assas. The first kill of this match for us. Unfortunately, our Frederick de Grosse decided it would be a very smart idea to push in. And as we can see, that didn't quite work out the way we wanted. And now we have, we're starting to have a bit of a problem emerging. Jean Bart is pushing in, the Harlem's pushing in. There's a Nagato that's coming in from the back as well. As we can see, he's just appeared on the mini map. 
and yeah, there's a Tashkent, there's a Shiritsuyu, and spoilers, there's also an Alaska V that's coming down this flank as well. Not going to be the most fun experience in the world to be dealing with, but we shall see how we go. Nagato takes a salvo at us, doesn't manage to connect any, but that's all good. More shots incoming from the Nagato. Can we get a good salvo into him as he goes broadside? Maybe, maybe. Salvo's looking good. Can we get a good salvo? And yeah, 9k damage is not bad at this kind of range. And there we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six enemy ships on this flank. And we're gonna just start bugging out of here. As you can see, we're attracting some not the most pleasant kind of fire there from the Harlem, the Alaska. And yeah, unfortunately we've managed to just impact off the border, but we're gonna use this to our advantage to try and make a full turn here. Get back as quickly as we can into the fight. Now, Harlem has just taken a big smack there, I believe, from the Yukon. And the Otago, as we can see, is deciding to charge in. Yeah, not great. The Yukon R team has just gone down, and I actually get screwed over here. The Harlem actually run, rams into the Alaska, and that screws with my salvo there. I probably should have anticipated that coming, but hey. They managed to survive for the time being. Now, the Otago goes broadside here, trying to get his torpedoes off against the Jean Bart, and he just gets sitted up there. Now, it's a question of... Does he actually get the torpedoes off? And does he manage to sink the Jean Bart with these suicide torps? Doesn't look like he's managed to get any torps off, unfortunately. However, we're going to try and punish these broadsiding cruisers. Now, they're not perfect broadsides, but they're going to hopefully do us good enough. Three over pens, not the greatest. Well, still trying to work around this. Scores aren't looking great, but we are taking the Alpha Cap. We're about 200 points behind the enemy team at this stage, but still not entirely lost yet. Jean Mart not looking at us, which is good. So we're going to just aim for those turrets there and see if we can help start knocking out some of those French turrets because they're notoriously weak. Alaska B manages to shut down uh, lightning on the on the team, and things are starting to go downhill really, really quickly. Otago finally gets his torpedoes off at the cost of his entire ship, <laughs> which is not great for us in this situation whatsoever. And now we're going to probably have the undivided attention of this Jean Bart, this Alaska B, the Nagato, the Tashkent, the Shiritsu. Not going to be a fun uh, situation to deal with. And as we can see there, the French turrets there managing to disable one of the turrets there on the Jean Bart. Now we're going to just try and kite away, get some distance against these guys, and just do our very, very best to keep putting in long-range fire support from our Shiritsuyu, who is going to be uh, providing us with a lot of spotting on this flank. As we can see there, as I was saying about the French turrets, he, the, uh, the Jean Bart actually managed to knock out one of our own turrets as well there. And we get a very lucky citadel there against the Alaska. Managed to penetrate just underneath the, uh, the gun turret there, go through the barbet, and actually score a citadel, which is awesome stuff. Now, it's not been the greatest game for us in the world. We've only got 9 minutes left in this game, and we've only done about 90,000 damage. However, that will change very, very soon. We can see on the western flank, though, we've got a friendly Riga, a Lepanto, and a Kiev, who've managed to survive and win that flank. However, it's not great in terms of HP, as we can see at the top of the board. 141,000 hit points on our team compared to the 179,000 on the enemy team. So we're going to need to put a lot of work in. And there we go. We saw a good example there of the French 380mm guns not quite having the overmatch potential or just even the raw penetration as we got five ricochets there i believe um off the jean bart maybe a couple off the alaska because they were well stuck against one another now what are we trying to do in this situation because the jean bart is focusing on the lapanto that's pushing in we want to be just trying to punish this dude as much as we possibly can why have i held my fire here Reason being, because the Alaska was shooting me, and I want to try and get behind these little rocks here, so I can hopefully be undetected when I'm firing the guns. Jean Bart starts to accelerate and turn out, so we're going to just wait a little bit for that perfect broadside, and hopefully here, we'll look to score some nice damage against him. And 13,000 damage. 
some nice hits there and now we've got to really start to push in because we yes we did take some rain we did go for range and we managed to get away from those guys disengage and put some shots in now we've really got to push forward back in towards the delta cap try and secure that because the enemy team at this point is 240 points ahead of us and there's only seven minutes on this game left as we can see shots are going out there and i don't think that Kiev on the team or the Riga are actually very very healthy unfortunately so they're probably going to go down shortly we can see torpedoes out there so that means that uh, the enemy shirt so you is all the way over by the bravo cap circle so that actually makes things easier for us to push into the delta uh, cap zone here once again more broadside from this jean -Bart, although he starts to turn out a little bit and i don't think i quite anticipate that quite enough but yeah, unfortunately, we didn't quite anticipate that, and that's three ricochets off the side of his belt there. Now, pushing forward, we've got this friendly Shiratsuyu so uh, sticking with us, and we're going to try and aim for this Alaska B, who's giving us pretty much a perfect broadside. We get the salvo just off, just before he goes behind the island, and how are we rewarded? 24,000 damage there with one Citadel. Fantastic. However, the Jean Bart on the team, on the enemy team, does manage to shut down our Riga. Then at 200 points away from winning, and we're like still only on 200, we're on 480 points here, so we're really quite far behind. However, the enemy team here is just giving us these broadsides here as they focus on the Lepanto and the Kiev. Another decent salvo there, 9k damage. Now the situation comes where we're going to just try and focus. We're going to pick one target here to focus down. I believe we go for the Jean Bart to begin with because he's got the biggest broadside. However, we I do think we can still overmatch the Alaska. So, first shot's out. We're going to go after this Jean Bart before he turns away from us. Another three penetrations, around 6,000 damage. Awesome stuff. Alaska B decides to take shots at us, and I can see the Kiev's launch torpedoes here. I immediately switch fire to the Alaska B because I think I can kill the Alaska B and hopefully the Kiev torps can hit the Jean Bart. So aiming, I think the torpedoes will hit the Jean Bart there. Take a shots out at the Alaska and unfortunately for us, the Jean Bart has actually managed to dodge those torpedoes. However, managed to get some, a good couple of penetrations there and we shut down that Alaska. Now. I can see this Harlem is extremely low HP, so I'm just spamming Concentrate Fire on him because I really want this Lepanto to take him out. Fortunately, he decided to shoot the Jean Bart, who is now left on 650 hit points, so that's going to be an easy pickup for us now. And there we go, there's our third kill for this game. So we're trying to push forward as fast as we can with this friendly Sheriff C, and we've got to try and get into the Delta Cap as soon as possible. And then the Lepanto goes down. Just before the Lepanto went down and when the Alaska and the Jamba were still alive, we were in a 3 versus 6 situation. Now we're in a 2 versus 4 situation here against Nagato, Harlem, Tashkent, and the Sheriff. So you... Hit points are not too bad actually. I've still got a lot of HP here. I'm healing now as well, so we've got about 60,000 hit points. They've got about 66,000 hit points. This game is still very, very close, and we can still take it out. However, the enemy team is about to hit 900 points, and even though they have one cap, I still think they can win, provided they run. So if that uh, Tashken just goes straight for Alpha, for example, if the Shiritsuyu was going for Alpha or even straight for Charlie, this game might have turned out differently, but I won't say anything else. Anyways, we can see the Nagato there being spotted by the Shiratsuyu, so we're going to try and sneak into the capture circle here with um, with him and try and secure it as quickly as we can to try and stall their points and get us some points, even though there's a 300 point disparity here. Shots out at the Nagato because we know we can overmatch him because he's only a tier 7 battleship. Get the high caliber achievement there, scoring 162,000 damage so far in this game. And we slow down here, turn in, try and avoid the damage. He just gets a ricochet off our turret, which is perfectly fine. And we see the Harlem planes incoming. We're trying to dodge those. We see the Tashkan is starting to open up on us. Though he's decided to load the AP, which is an interesting decision. However, continuing to focus fire on the Nagato because he's the only one we've got shots on. 
get a fire there with our secondaries, I think on the Tashkent, which is awesome. Torpedoes incoming from the front side there, as we can see. So we just dodge that, so we know Shiritsuyu has got to be going down towards Charlie. That's the second set of torpedoes uh, from the Shiritsuyu. There's then the Harlem appears. We nearly fired at the Tashkent, however, the Harlem appears. We've got to focus him down, get him out of this game quickly. That buys us a bit of breathing room. There's another salvo from the Shiritsuyu torps. He's out of torps now. Sure, so you tries to light uh, layers of, of smoke screen. However, we're just going a little bit too fast here. Now, see those torpedoes? I started aiming towards the Nagato. However, those torpedoes from the friendly Shiratsuyu, they look like they're going to kill him. So I immediately switch over to the Tashkent. The Shiratsuyu takes out the Nagato. We get a great salvo there against the Tashkent. And that's our Kraken and Confederate there. And we've just managed to turn this game completely and utterly around. That was an absolutely fantastic torpedo salvo there from the Shiritsuyu into that Nagato. And if he if that hadn't have worked, well, this game may have very well turned out differently. And now it's just a case of trying to find this enemy Shiritsuyu. Even if... Um, well, even now the caps are quite equal. Doesn't matter, there's only a minute and a half left in the game. And we've got 20 points... 30 points up. I try taking a salvo against him, but he managed to slow down in time, dodges that salvo. And the friendly Shiratsuyu here is going to uh, do his best to take out the Shiratsuyu. Here's a torpedo salvo from the Shiratsuyu. We got plenty of warning though. Should be able to reload in time. Pray to and Jesus, can we get six kills? That would be amazing. Shots out. And he dodges. Unfortunately for us, that is going to be all we're going to get in this game as the Shiritsuyu here does get a good last salvo into him, and that's going to be game over. Well, just taking a quick look there at the results of that game in the Alsace, we can see as I was stacking flags, I uh, managed to hit a net decent amount of uh, experience there, 15,000 to help towards the grind to the Republic, 177 thousand damage nearly 178,000 confederate kraken and high caliber achievement in that game and credit to this shiritsuyu player zk papa he did a fantastic job particularly at the end there uh, with that fantastic torpedo volley thank you guys so much for watching and i do hope you guys did enjoy uh this replay if you guys did enjoy it please make sure you give it a like and if you do want to see me uh, play some games on Twitch, whether it be tanks, whether it be warships, or whatever else it may be. The uh, Twitch link is in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.